My name is Kevin Nadar and I work with BMC Remedy Force product team. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to configure Remedy Force survey. So the activities that we are going to look into are the survey URL to be used. That is the URL that needs to be used in the email template. Permissions needed so that it will not ask users to enter credentials and to directly open up the survey page to fill up the survey. The email template to be used. This will be the canned email template and a workflow to be used in and a common example. So let's log into BMC Remedy Force. So once we are logged into BMC Remedy Force, click on Setup, under Build, Expand, Develop, click on Sites. So this will open up the self-service site. So the URL to be used for survey is the self-service site. This URL needs to be active and enabled so that you can log in to the self-service site portal. So you can copy this URL and keep so that it can be used on the email templates. So let's look into the second phase that is the permissions needed. So permissions that are needed to be set up that will help to bypass the survey links without asking for credentials to be entered by the clients are select the self-service client label click on public access settings select the view users select the site guest permission set assignment click on edit assignment and you can add the service desk client permission set. So this will be the default permission set that will help you to bypass the self-service home page when you're using a survey. So let's move on to the third part that is the email template. So in quick find you can write as email template, select the email template search for incident survey that is the survey to be used for incident records if it's a self-service then you can use a self-service survey so this is the self-service survey that you'll be using and you can find an incident survey this one for incident records you click and click on edit html Scroll down, you find a hyper link example that is example site enterprise. So instead of the default survey the link that BMC provides, you can just copy the self service site URL, like you can replace it with the self service site URL. Click on save. Right, so let's move on to the next phase that is the workflows. So you can write workflows on the quick find. For example, we'll be using the canned one that is a notify the client when incident disclosed. Click on the email alerts, edit the email alert, and in the email alert template, you can add the incident survey email template click on save now let's move on to an example for remedy force console for an incident so go to remedy force console open up any existing incident or you can create a test incident record for example this is first one you can go to actions click on close save So once an incident is closed, it will send out an email alert to your Outlook. For example, this is the email template that you'll be receiving. Click on the feedback survey. So this will be the survey which will open up, fill up the survey. Click on submit and 
time survey should have been submitted successfully. I hope this video was useful for you. I would like to thank you for watching it.